Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to give you a quick update on my Red Wing Iron Rangers. Now if you've been following the channel, uh, I did an update on these after one month, three months, and now it is six months in. So I wanted to kind of give you a better look at how these are uh, wearing, the colors that they're changing as the patina grows, and uh, yeah, what my thoughts are on them. So let's take a look at these things. Here they are at six months in. Can't believe it, the summer has come and gone uh, so quickly as it usually does here. And now we're into fall weather. So this is, uh, this is boot weather, as they say. Um, this is when it gets kind of colder, rainier, and uh, after that comes the snow. So there's a, there's a big test of these things coming up. I had been babying these things a lot. Um, keeping them out of rain, keeping them out of, just, just trying to keep them from being soaked, just because I was kind of worried about that, that color change, that darken. Uh, and it has darkened, but to be honest with you, I, I don't hate it. All those commenters in those other boot, boot videos that I did were kind of like, you know, just, just go with it, embrace it. It comes with the territory. It's part of, uh, it's part of owning these things. It's part of just the, the normal wear process. So. I did, I soaked them, I wore them in the rain a couple times, um, and like I said, it has changed the color, but I, I, I don't hate it. The comfort level is just on another level. This is, this is, I'm wearing these mostly every day now. In the summertime, it's kind of tricky because um, you're wearing shorts and you're wearing all kinds of uh, kind of clothes that aren't really conducive to uh, some big kind of clunky work boots like this. Um, but uh, now that it's coming into fall, uh, I think I'm gonna really, uh, really, really start wearing these. I've probably worn these, if I had to put a percentage on it, I, I bet you I wear them 80% of the time, 80% of the days. So uh, still, just a, a, a ton of wearing these and uh, more coming. They are so comfortable now that they're broken in. And uh, just to recap here, I went a full size down. So I went from a size 12 in Nike sneakers or any sneakers um, down to an 11. So full size down. They were snug when I first got them, but uh, it, was, it was the way to go because they, they have loosened up, softened up, and uh, now they are just so comfortable. And actually the, the footbed is, I can't take it out. It's not removable. But it is so, if when you put your hand in there, you can feel every toe, the ball of your foot. Um, it, it is compressed into that leather. I think it's just layers of, of leather stacked in there. And it's, it's really, really unbelievably comfortable. You would not think, but it is just unbelievably comfortable. Uh, what else? Oh, the toe box. So one of the things in those original takes when I first started wearing these was that this toe, this is... This is a pretty big boot um, in this size. Uh, this is a even at an 11. This is a this is a big foot, big Ronald McDonald uh, size boot here, and it seemed like when they were new, uh, this toe box was it seemed a lot more substantial than it is now. Um, I think all the miles that are in it are are really wearing this and softening it up and, and kind of compressing it and, and just relaxing it in, in really cool ways here. So I think that toe box is actually, is actually getting to be something that I like much, much more over time. That's a, that was a big deal. I was kind of weirded out. When I first got it, this was kind of all a little more bulbous than it is now. But you can see, after six months of, of real wear, the, the profile it really changes in these things. So it's really something that I'm, again, I'm really, really happy with. Uh, what else? Um, shoot, uh, I've only worn them a couple times um, in the rain, but they were waterproof. They, they I, like I said, I was really trying to avoid that. And uh, when I did finally take the plunge, literally take the plunge, um, feet were completely dry, shockingly. I did treat these with, um, I think it was some kind of uh, a spray. When they were brand new, I hit them with a uh, some kind of uh, a, just a synthetic uh, uh, waterproofer, and 
I don't know. I, that that probably has something to do with uh, the the water resistance and also um, stain resistance. I have a brush to bring the nap back up, um, so I've I've brushed those. This little wire tined brush that you can kind of bring this rough out leather. This is the uh, Hawthorne Mule Skinner, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, and so you can bring these these little these little crushed areas like on the toe box here. You can bring the nap back up by uh, kind of brushing it with that brush just to get that texture back to, to looking kind of more uniform. Um, but yeah, this, this is just minimal care process. Now, the next part is the interesting thing. As we get into winter, and now that I'm kind of emboldened by uh, wearing them in uh, all weather conditions, I'm going to uh, I'm going to really put them through the test this winter. In Pennsylvania here, we get, we get pretty good winters. Um, Lots of snow, uh, you know, rough, cold, rainy days. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna keep wearing them, and uh, probably before all that happens here, as we go into fall, I am going to uh, maybe I'll do a video on it. I'm gonna clean them all up, and I am going to uh, maybe oil them, but for sure waterproof them again. I'm gonna treat them with. Uh, I don't know, probably some kind of synthetic spray or some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, just a, a water repellent. I don't know, maybe if, if you've done that before, uh, folks out there, uh, maybe comment with the products that you used because I'm gonna try to give them the best chance that they can possibly have through the winter here. I'll bring them over to the bench here and you can really take a closer look at them. Uh, I'll show you the soles and I'll show you kind of the textures of the leather and kind of a, a more a more close-up view. All right, so here we have a much more up close and personal view of these things. Uh, a couple cool things beside that color change is uh, how the uh, kind of my jeans are changing the color here above the heel. You can see that that kind of that, that indigo is really wearing off there and kind of rubbing these things raw. It looks really, really cool. Um, I know a lot of you, I guess it's split. There's a lot of people who are looking to buy their first pair of Iron Rangers. Um, for me, this was a huge investment and um, it was something that I wanted to buy once and, and not buy another pair of boots for you know as long as possible. Um, and there's a lot of people out there who are suggesting, well, Nick's boots, White's boots. Um, and I think that's great. And I actually have done a lot of looking at those, shopping on those. And they are really, really cool. But it's kind of getting away from um, the experiment that I kind of wanted to do with these, which is buying one pair of boots and really leaning on them. Uh, I know how I am. If I bought another pair of Nick's boots or another, you know, whites or whatever it is, um, I would start wearing those and I would get on a, on a kind of in a groove with those and these would just fall out of favor. So I want to, I want to kind of keep with this and really, really see how much they got. Um, yeah, as far as, uh, kind of hacks, one of the commenters had, uh, just said, you know, the, reminded me that the speed laces, now I don't know if any of you guys out there do this, but I'm a person who takes off my boots when I go into uh, any any house, kind of what was I, I was told as a kid, and I kind of have followed it into adulthood here. So it's kind of a task to kick these off your feet, but um, commenters said, well, you don't have to untie them. You just use your speed laces here and uh, kind of undo them. And then you you get your foot out of there. And then when you're uh, back in, when you, you slide them back in, no problem. And then you lace them back up, you know, kind of kind of like so. Now it takes a little bit of time and over four or five days, you kind of have to, uh, you'll have to retighten them. But that is a that is a really quick thing and, and uh, definitely I, I use it. I use it a lot. I use it almost every single day. The soles, although they're kind of dirty here, are looking pretty good. Um, there is a lot of wear on the heels. Kind of this is where my, my heel strike must be here. There is a ridge 
around there was a, a kind of a molded ridge around this whole thing you can see some remnants of it coming down the side here and it's completely gone uh, so um, yeah it is wearing but fairly uniformly and uh, yeah it's got a got a long way to go uh, now that I'm looking at them here I can see is that a rock in there yeah, it's just a rock. I thought one of the nails were, was coming out. It was just a, a little pebble. I actually committed the uh, maybe the boot cardinal sin for all you folks out there, but I I did rock these with shorts a couple times. <laughs> I have no photo evidence of it uh, for obvious reasons, but it's a look, that's for sure. And uh, I'm happy to kind of move into the, the hooded sweatshirts and, and flannel season here in Pennsylvania. So there you have it six months uh stay tuned maybe give me some suggestions down in the comments there uh, as to how best to waterproof these things i don't know maybe you have a product suggestion or uh, technique uh, to really get these things through the winter uh, looking good and, and lasting many many beyond just this one so thank you for watching i really appreciate it um, thanks for your interest in these things if you are considering uh, the Iron Rangers, I, I, I really, I can't complain. I, it was a big investment for me. Um, it was more than I had spent for a pair of shoes in my whole life. Probably twice the amount I've ever spent uh, on shoes in my entire life. So it was a big, big deal at the time. I watched a lot of videos just like this one and uh, hopefully it helps you. Uh, so thank you and uh, See you next update.